What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is the Third Person Podcast. I'm Chris. That's Mike. What's We're up? We're going back into Westworld. <laughs> did you get to say back into the Badlands again? No, nah, we did that one already. <laughs> we did Season that Season two, already. episode three, Virtue Fortuna. Yes, sir. This was a good one. The opening, you know, dude, I, a lot of these openings, especially tonight, they're getting you some great ones, right? They're getting you, huh? It's cool because we're seeing we we obviously saw um, if you watch some of the coming attractions and stuff, you kind of we, we never we always saw like the samurai kind of teaser stuff, right? They gave us another park, which is Park Six, Park Six, the, the Raj, the Raj, which yeah. is colonial uh, colonial India, um, under British and it's rule, where they used under to- British rule, and it's a place to go out there and get your hunt on, big game you know? hunting, yeah, very very cool. Yeah, the opening was great. I mean, um, just the way, even the even between the two characters, we didn't get their names yet, obviously, but how the woman was, well, before we do anything, I got to make sure who, you know, you're a real person, all that kind of stuff. Was oh, with like, the, and how the gun worked. You see, that was yeah. cool because, yeah. because they, I saw that scene and I was like, they're, they're doing, they're establishing, giving people new viewers and, and older viewers, you know, uh, recurring viewers they're giving us a, re- a reminder of how the system works yeah, in a fun way, which was mm-hmm. cool. So yeah. I feel like that's really what that was for. Like let's, let's let them know what the, what people can do when they're here, you know, and it's just like getting hit with a paintball, you know? Yeah. Yeah. But it that's was real cool, man. I'm sure you thought the same thing now too. It's like we have robotic elephants, host elephants and stuff, right? Yeah, I mean that's like how freaking cool is that? Just don't forget they had the buffalo and the horses. Yeah, but you know, I mean, listen, like I said, this is a totally different park now, totally different landscape, uh, different, uh, a whole different world. It's great. And I, it was, it was cool to finally see a different, um, a a full glimpse of of this place and and what happens in the end. when the when the tiger when when they they show up and she's like something's different yeah this, something's wrong they and... should have been here these people should be here and there and blah 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 and then they go and they yeah. see and then the tiger attacks and yeah it's just a, a great crazy. opening and that's obviously where the tiger came from that Bernard and the rest of the uh, the Delos people yeah, saw yeah and that dude a... wa- that, that girl washes up on the shore and gets taken by the natives like ooh oh that's, <laughs> that's gonna be a little crazy yes sir it was you know like I said. It was just a cool, cool experience oh, to see something else. Another cool thing was we mm. got to see Stephen Ogg again. Yes, we did. Yes, so we that did. Was fun. It was. I wrote that down too because uh, it was. It was just so funny when they obviously uh, kind of coax him away from everybody else because he had um, some of the Delos um, higher ups captive there that he was going to trade. And it was just funny to get him away and how they were quickly able to kind of hack into him and change all his emotions and change and lower his aggression I loved completely. It. I loved and, it. It's like the Sims. He just was like, bloop, bloop, bloop. And bloop, he's bloop, nasty. He's just, how cool of a part is that? Yeah. Well, he's he, basically, he, he's, he's playing being... two different characters in one scene, in two scenes. Uh, yeah. I mean? Yeah. I was going to say basically Stephen Ogg is, is, that's the character he, when he plays Simon on The Walking Dead, when he played. Um, in um, I forget his name now, but in Grand Theft Auto Five, like that's just that's Trevor, the ca- Trevor. Trevor. Thank you. Yeah. That's just like the that's just who he's being typecast at. But yeah, it was fun to him being like, oh, we don't hurt women. They're the They're well, soft as roses and yeah. all this kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. And yeah, then was, oh oh, and cool. they make him the fast. He makes him a, a quick draw. He makes him like the fastest gunslinger. That yeah. was cool. How yep. crazy! It's so easy to do that. And and these. It's crazy to me because these these beings, these these creatures, you know, they mm-hmm. don't know that. They don't know how easily they're manipulated. Yeah. Well, and, some. Uh... And, well, and I want to talk about that when we get to Dolores's section. But, um, but no, that was pretty cool. Um, Abernathy, they had he had Peter Abernathy. Now, here's the funny thing: Peter Peter Abernathy, he's he's bouncing between all his past all lives, his diff- all his past yeah. programs, right? He's all screwed up. Yep. But the uh, programming to get on the train constantly resurfaces to the top mm-hmm. and is overriding all this stuff because he was a preacher right one of his past he was a preacher because that's why that's what that preaching is from yeah because we find out like oh no something's wrong with abernathy he's going back into his old program it's and he could of a preacher at one point well so. let me ask you this now he he keeps going to the train because that's where he was supposed to go to that's leave, his, that's right? so that's his top priority programming 
what is what Lee that's did. what Charlotte wanted. Charlotte, and to that's get what him they were doing. The park get him to the okay. yeah. Let him get on that train. Um. So yeah. yeah. So you know. So cool. it, very interesting. <laughs> very interesting. Um. And, and then when so they get so they get captured. Well, no. Uh, Charlotte escapes. Right. Charlotte escapes, and that's where we kind of saw the divide of them because there was a couple different timelines, and that's you know because he they see each other again. Right. And but that was the that. thing. They yeah. so they get kidnapped. And um, the Confederales, they they grab Abernathy and Bernard, and and so so now at this point, Dolores is convinced, and that was a cool scene when she convinces the commander, really cool. gives him the P ninety, really cool. and is like, you know what I mean? Um, I I gotta say though, I don't think I can I can take that the the host Angela, I can't mm. take her seriously wearing that dumb thing on her head. Like and then she's supposed like I get that she's that she's skilled right she's skilled yeah. in, in in combat and, and weapons and whatnot right but take that stupid wreath <laughs> I can't even tell what it is man get it off your head you look so I cannot she, take she's like a female thing. Jesus kind it's of a so thing so dumb yeah. I don't like it it looks so <laughs> looks so dumb like you know Dolores is decked out in her denim skirt with a with the the tank top button down thing and yeah. that's a cool it's, it's cool feminine it's very her, feminine. Yeah. But she's a fucking she's a monster. So it's like yeah. the dichotomy is so cool. But mm-hmm. that woman, mm-hmm. Angela, is like, you look like you look stupid. Stop. I can't take you serious. <laughs> anyway, so she convinces them. Yeah. And um, you know, we know we all know how that goes. You know, she obviously Well, it's just cool how her. Angela says, All right, buddy, if you can make it over the hill, I'll let you. Well, with the P ninety and the guy's like, Whoa, ho, ho, yeah, guys, all right, she, we're in. <laughs> you got Dolores is like, hold on to it, you know, hold yeah. on to it. Uh so I like how she ignored Bernard. Mm-hmm. grabs her dad she sees it's her dad grabs her dad and then has him come in and it's like that whole mm-hmm. thing where, like you said he jacks into him and and meanwhile he's all like messed up and he's just constantly like so i think it's cool that we're seeing bernard because we see him after the fact we see him during the fact you know it's yeah. like he's been messed up this whole time how's he gonna get fixed you know he's just like he's he's making it on a on a on a, a wish and a prayer you know he's making yeah. it through this stuff he um who did he get taken by at the end? Didn't he get taken by someone at the end? Uh, did Charlotte oh. find him? No. Charlotte grabbed Abernathy. So all hell breaks loose. Oh, he got knocked in the face by the... Um, he got hit in the face after he escaped who, after though? the war. Um, the, the former prostitute girl. The pretty girl. Oh, yeah. That's right. And then we don't know what happened because he was leaking. Okay, so we don't know. Okay, so all right. We don't know... But- um, what transpired to, to them seeing each other again. But when going back to like the Dolores um, Abernathy conversation, I was telling you, I just thought for a moment there, he comes back and he recognizes her, which I thought was interesting because it's like with all the screwy information and these different characters, everything going through Peter's, the host's mind that he was able to, Re- recognize and remember her well that program right? popped in yeah that program popped yeah up. so it's just uh, i mean that was that was interesting and just the emotion it's like alzheimer's that, right very similar it's sad to it's a sad thing that's a very yeah. that's a very that's a very horrendous disease yeah but that's it's 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 very reminiscent of someone that has that and they have a moment of lucidity where you're like yeah. where they they see their loved ones and they're like oh Oh, yep. it's you, and then and you know, and, and they very quickly try and get out some words of whatever what they really want to say. Yeah, it's it's. I mean, it's it's terrible, but in the same in in the same aspect, it's it's kind of it's it's cool to see the emotion from Dolores and how oh, yeah. these these hosts are so advanced. There's really not much difference between um, a soul in a human. You and, know, the, and the programming, and that, just and just the, that she can cry. But and that's that the they, same thing. We're programmed too. Yeah, we're programmed to react that way. Well, yeah, and that's what's considered normal. If something happened to your loved one, Mike, you're going to be yeah. upset. I just thought it's it just, gave them a, a real human. Right? And listen, we knew from the beginning that these that these hosts are just down to the skin texture and all this kind of stuff. They're, they're like fucking. You couldn't tell the difference. We've seen that, um, but it's just. Just to see, it's interesting, the, yeah, yeah, or to just, act on their own and a connection, yeah, a connection that Dolores says that's my father. Um, after, they, after all the fact that after the fact that she remembers everything. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. you're so so your yeah. point is that the fact that she's 
choosing to live out that portion of her programming. Yeah. That's essentially what you're saying. Yeah. And you're right. That's the interesting part because she's Mm -hmm. making, she's making the conscious choice. Okay. She's making that choice on her own through all her programming. Yeah. Yeah. To do that. Meanwhile... And to I'm, save my dad and have Bernard right. get in there and try to do whatever, you know, you can to 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 figure out what's going on with him. And, and we got some interesting stuff with that, too. And we got, you know, listen, when Bernard was first trying to get in there, he couldn't... There was a code there, whatever it was. He was trying and, to get in to see why he was so special. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and what was so screwy. But when he finally... Someone got, got something. that access, yeah. But I don't know if he got was what, that. And, I don't. He got something, but I don't know if it was what he wanted to get. But he did find something. I so believe what the is screen all this? said yeah. like one time access or something. Yeah. I think it popped did up it? and yeah. I have to go back. And um, look, but yeah, I mean it's a, it's a big clue, and obviously by the end of that scene, we don't know what happens because Bernard is leaking and he gets a a, a, a gun butt to the to the face. Yeah. Um, but that's going to be interesting to see, like you said, how did Charlotte and Bernard, how did they get where they are now in the, in the well, main timeline? As, as we're slowly getting in yeah. there, right? Let's see. Yeah. Let's see. Because they, yeah. so they take Abernathy. They end up, you know, nabbing Abernathy and, uh, they take off. Um, the but, big war, I mean, the big, big battles, probably the, one of my favorite parts of the, of the episode, and yeah. of the Dolores stuff. Well, right? she I listen. Mean, I want to talk about her for a second. Yeah. Because you know, you, you mentioned off camera how you were like her, her stuff's a little bit annoying, but the thing is, man. Yeah. This this host like she's now unless we've seen unless we haven't seen some more stuff that she has seen, she's basing this whole thing off of the fact that she was out in the city one a few times or whatever. Yeah. Well, uh, you, I how mean, much, I. I how much right but how much of humanity can you really know by by being at a party or playing a piano at a you know what i mean like yes you're remembering all that which is why i was saying she's also choosing to remember being a daughter yeah as and also remembering being a puppet mm-hmm. for some as you know someone's show doll right so yeah. she's choosing to remember all this but it's like she keeps telling bernard um teddy i'm sorry she keeps telling teddy Oh, well, you don't know. You don't know what I've seen. It's like, bitch, you haven't seen anything. You know like, what? You know what it is, though. I think it's the fact that she knows and recognizes what the park is built for, right? She that's knows. Fine. She knows that there's a there there's a there's con- a world. There's a thing. Yeah, that she being knows that there's so there much as, more. Yeah. So I think it's more that she, I wouldn't say jealous. But it's more like, don't keep me captive. Almost putting, putting yeah, you in, I, yeah. in prison. Or she get that. She, I get you know what that. I mean? I think it's just more that. And listen, she did experience. We don't know exactly how long she was. That's what I'm saying. I don't know. But and, from what we know, I feel like yeah. I feel like you don't know enough. That's listen. like you reading <laughs> one book about you know about like Africa and thinking you can go on a safari. You know yeah. what I mean? Like that's that's no. Like you saw one one Discovery Channel special about hunting lions in the in the savanna, and now you think you can go do it. To yeah. me, that's what that's what's happening. But aside you know what? From that, you know what's you know what you know what's funny though uh, with, with yeah. her is she seems to know so much, and I think we mentioned this the last the last discussion. She seems to know so much, but she doesn't realize that she won't be able to leave the confines of the park anyway, because they all have that self destruct mechanism in in them does, uh, does she know about that well but let's you answer know the I mean? question here what happened with the cat when the when the when the tiger passed that thing no but Was it's still the in the it's still in the in, park. within a park it's still in the confines of that yeah. whole island archipelago whatever <laughs> wherever they are because remember there when when um in in the initial season when we saw will and logan arrive they arrived on a train, train or whatever yeah. the hell it was. Oh, so super, they like got to this train, yeah. place. So who knows? There's probably six different trains and all in, you know what I mean? All right. You oh, want to yeah. go this place. You want to go this place. You want to go to this park, th- this park. So, um, it, yeah, it's just interesting. And you know, she, she won't be able to get out anyway. Let's, so let's see what happens until in, she in the finds future. out until she finds out how. Yeah. Yeah. So well, we'll see. We also, um, a couple, a couple of things before we, we get to the end, but so Teddy, you know, Teddy, we've been seeing him 
not really like what's happening and how what what Dolores has become, and she keeps having to convince him, quote unquote. She he's like her 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 lap dog. Like so she's... right. So the other guy, so that colonel guy, whatever that guy, the lieutenant dude. Mm. I like that dude. I like that actor. He's a real he's a real douchebag. He plays real douchebags, and he and he plays a real douche. Oh, he plays a, a a good one in this one, right? Yeah. And he says to her, like, so he he gives Teddy some words that Teddy had to hear, because yeah. Teddy doesn't kill him or the other ones. Dolores sees this, and this is a mistake on you know on both fronts. Like letting yeah. them go, letting that guy go is a mistake, but the fact that Dolores saw you let him go is also a mistake, in my book, because we do see that it was Teddy in the water come come the two weeks later or whatever the yeah. time frame was, right? Yeah. So yeah. I don't know. So it's going to be interesting with that, and also let's uh, let's 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 round this out with Maeve because yeah. um, we could talk about Dolores all night, but so Maeve and Lee. Uh, you know they're they're trying to make their way across Westworld into another section, right? Yeah. They end up. Um, they end up. Uh, Maeve's power didn't work on the natives. I wrote that. <laughs> what, Why is that? What do we that's make of the, that? That's. Uh, I mean, first of all, before we like, how fucking cool did they look? Oh, the natives, right? The, yeah. With the blood hands and like that guy looked freaking super badass but that's yeah scary, i wonder man. i wonder what it is um and why why did you know i, I don't know i don't have the answer to I you know. i really I don't think, have i think we might i think we might find out because remember uh oh no 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 i i, I was saying that i remember dolores was going to end up using mave somehow like Maeve was going to use her power on that, but if, if her power doesn't work, I you know I don't know. So they make it on the ground, and you by know, the help of the uh, dragon, the dragon you know, shows too. up, and we got to see her yeah. again, which was awesome. I love I love that character. I think that character yeah. is so badass. Uh, yeah. Very much like Terminator. Like that's a Terminator. That's a T. That's a T. And the Luke, the Luke Skywalker kind of. Yeah, yeah. Hand. She's got that hand, and so she's pretty badass. They so mm-hmm. they make their way. Oh, and they find and they find. Um, oh, what are their names again? That I write it, write it down. Uh, Felix and yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot what the other guy's I name is. The it's, other guy. yeah. it's funny with the grenade and he's geez. like grenade. Yeah, I didn't realize what the. Oh, I'm like, what's what is that? What? And yeah. she takes the grenade out and puts a pin back. So, um, so yeah, so we get those two texts, which are which they're they're cool, and um, yeah, dude, they 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 make their way across and they make their way into what Lee calls the Klondike narrative. Yeah. Right. Which is um, he said north of north of the park and all this kind of stuff and that samurai you know, world. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's got to be Shogun right. World, I mean, whatever it's called, right? Yeah. It's at first I'm like, wait, like, how far do they really go that it's snowing? Now is that That's, well, they went on the is ground. It, and, yeah. Is it real snow? Is it um, because Lee was talking about how cold it is and. So I'm just wondering if the snow part of it's, I mean, it doesn't, you know, is no, that think, a part of the narrative or think, is it really? I think it's really, he said the northern on. part of the park. So yeah. wherever they are, it must be in a higher altitude, you yeah. know, and, and look, all you need is altitude, man. That's and true. it snows. That's it's all you really need. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter where you are, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, even, even like warm, even the, even the mountains in like Arizona here, well, Colorado, those mountains have snow on the peaks because it's just that's where it is. It's up. Um, Dusty peaks. So, dude, I mean, we didn't get to see much yet, but you know, there are some promos of her wearing a kimono and um, you know, walking through what looks to be like a very Japanese type setting in like a, a house area or something. Dude, I'm gonna love seeing old West characters, you know, in the in the feudal Japan setting. That's, that's why I said, that's, you know, <laughs> that's crazy. That's it's it's. I love that. I love that. That's like um. Remember the movie The Last Samurai, with Tom Cruise, where he was a confederate. Oh, he was a confederate I soldier. I don't like. I don't. I never Japan. liked him. You know. <laughs> yeah. oh, let's not get into that. I I like Tom yeah. Cruise, but you know. Yeah. But anyway, it was a cool movie. It was Confederate soldiers in Japan, and and like that's what we're looking at. We're looking at Old West in this feudal Japan. Man, it, it's so it's so great after watching the first season and saying. Oh man, because we 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 got the hints that there are other parks and stuff, and finally we're we're seeing them now, and it's just yeah, it's, just they it's just badass. give it to us, you know, and yeah, just give yeah. it to us, just give it to us, yeah. you know, yep. open it up, open it up right away, like we don't, I I think they're moving at a good clip. You only got ten episodes mm-hmm. to run with, so you mm-hmm. got to give us something. Let's not drag out the mystery. Last yeah. season they did drag out some stuff, but you know I get it. You were setting everything up and giving us the characters, and now you know we. Now the characters are becoming new characters because they're they're free, 
so yeah. to speak. Um, Mike, a couple of questions before we finish this off here. Yeah. What um did you have a favorite scene before I tell you mine? My favorite I had scene. A favorite scene in this <laughs> I had a couple. Movie. I mean, I kind of mentioned already. I, I definitely like the opening tiger scene and all that kind of stuff. But I just think that the dynamic at the battle with Old West first modern weaponry. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. I just thought that was. Um, you thought that I was, thought it was dope it's just AF, interesting man. because you know, we we don't really see, you don't really ever see that when have, when can you really recall other than like a, a other than movie like time cop. or uh, time cop they go back in time <laughs> and, and like they shoot like an old west guy okay with, with like i wasn't gun. just it's it's funny that i didn't remember time cop but um <laughs> how could you no forget? it was just right it was just cool to see the uh, just the difference in, yeah. and how far weaponry has come from the and how the confident old west they were too. you had mentioned off camera how confident they were just just yeah. walking over the hill driving I just thought the that buggies. was a little it was a little silly was cocky right? a little you know? cocky like did you not Maybe they didn't realize that they were all hunkering down behind all those barrels or, or wood. Or well, whatever. they knew exactly where to to go. Yeah, but they I couldn't mean, have seen. I mean, did they recon that? Who knows? But the point is, yeah, yeah it was a little brazen of them, and they took some. They took some hits. Yeah, they, took, they definitely. Especially just, when they exploded the thing. Thought it was thought it was cool. That was thought cool. it was cool. Um, my yeah. favorite scene is in that tunnel before they meet the dragon, again, mm. with Hector and Maeve, and when they, you know. They're they're, ex- they're like you know, holding they're, hands, they're holding or hands and stuff. And yeah. Lee turns around. He's like, "What? That's no. That's that's not right." He's like, "That's not what that whole." You're not programmed to do that. You're supposed to love Isabel, and yeah, that's and it. Then, and, and and then as he's, you're not supposed to love anybody or whatever, it right? Was, and so yeah. as Hector's reciting his the his vows his, to Isabel, his dialogue, or whatever. Lee yeah. Lee recites it with him, <laughs> and I just thought that entire scene was just so cool. That was my favorite scene. It was just. Just those mm-hmm. three characters, and then and then them realizing what they are and who this man is to them, and you know it was very cool. I enjoyed that. Um, Even how Maeve talks with Lee about his his lost love and how he oh she calls him on his shit yeah oh so yeah, she's, she's like oh so that's who this is okay I got it I got yeah. you yeah don't forget yeah. she's she's not only is she programmed to be that intuitive mm-hmm. she's also upped all of her skills. Yeah, and and three, she's got the reveries, which tie into her in, intuition. Yeah. See, that's what's cool. All of these characters have these special abilities, so to speak. That's what's. And they're all cool. a little bit. They're all a little bit different from each other. That's too. what I like, that's and that's why is. Maeve's character is great, and why her yeah. power of being able to control hosts works perfectly with her intuition yeah. power. You mm-hmm. know, so anyway, very cool mm-hmm. stuff. Very, I love yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely, um, absolutely. So listen, let's end this off here. Um, I, I do want to pose a question to you and everyone that's watching. Uh, which storyline do you like so far? You know, is it is it the Dolores and Teddy, which has kind of been merged now with the Charlotte and you know Abernathy? Yeah, that's that's a that's a that's a storyline. And then you have the Hector, Maeve, and Lee, and now Felix and whatever, right? Yeah. Or William. So to me, I grouped them into those three major storylines, those three major plots. Like, which ones yeah. are your favorite? You had mentioned that you were getting a little bit over Dolores. I was getting a little, yeah. I mean, I don't necessarily think that I have one particular storyline. I think each each storyline has their own points that are that are uh, intriguing for me. I mean, uh, just just you know, the the man in black just being a badass and and. and possibly having Robert whispering in his ear to, you know, guiding him, almost guiding him. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, The Dolores Teddy stuff is, is cool after this episode, because obviously like we spoke about Teddy lets him go. So there's a lot of cool stuff. I don't necessarily think that I have one particular point, but I'm just, dude, I'm really psyched about the fact that we're getting glimpses of other parks. I know that everything is going to be merging and mingling. You're going to have people from here to there. We have the girl that arrived on the shore of, uh, you know, from the Raj. She's in Westworld. Man. So, yeah, it's, um, dude, it's 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 getting really cool this this yeah. series. I will tell you, my I do have a favorite. Um, yeah. If even you know, even if it's marginal, but I'm I'm loving mm-hmm. the Mave storyline, especially now that they're they're running over to what what appears to be feudal Japan. I think I I love those three characters. I like Lee. He's a dick, but I like him. Hector. I like I love Hector's character. I love his suit. I love his. His his outfit, I love and and Maeve's awesome. I just and I like them together. So right now mm-hmm. I'm 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 digging the Maeve storyline the most. So and they're getting and they're actually gaining a few more troops to help out. You know yeah, with yeah 
yeah, a couple of bad, more you know, a few badass uh, people there. So yeah. let's see how we get out of it because oh, and the yeah, yeah, right, and the dragons. In yeah, there, the so. dragons. So, so at the definitely. end of the episode with Maeve and stuff, we see the samurai coming out of the. So how is she getting out of that, and uh, will she be able to control him? Right. You know what I mean. Yeah, so yeah. it's just it's just um, it's heating it got up, a man. lot more. Yeah, it's heating up. Heating it's up. got a lot. We got more seven left. We got seven left yeah. for the season, guys. So uh, that's that's your homework. All right, get in the <laughs> comments and tell us what what's your favorite storyline so far. Which of those three major plot lines are are you interesting in following the most? That's right. right. Write them write them down uh, in the comment section below, of course, at third person at uh, third person pod at uh, YouTube, and don't forget to check us out on Facebook and on Instagram at third person pod, and have a listen to us on iTunes. That's right. And if you do, if anyone does listen, if you are listening to this over iTunes or Google Play or Stitcher or whatever, um, leave a review. Send a, yeah. give us a little review. That'd be that would help us out a lot. Um, we don't normally ask for you know anything like that. No, but we're you not know what? that tight. <laughs> tell someone about our show. Tell someone about Westworld. I know it's HBO and it's a it's a you know it's a paid cable situation, but it's still a great show and it's worth even just you know maybe getting a free trial for the month or whatever to yep. watch the show. It's it's a gr- it's a great show. So tell someone about Westworld. Tell someone about Third Person. You know uh, you know we really appreciate all that support. Absolutely. All right, so that's gonna do it. Um, great show. We had fun. I enjoyed talking about it. And uh, guys, I guess we'll see you on the next episode for Westworld.